Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of the UI web view button navigation. And uh, what we've done so far is we've actually just established our action, we've implemented the action, and so now we're actually going to build the, the interface by going to the web view, view controller.xib, or whatever yours is named. And if you guys saw from the from the previous tutorial part one, we're just going to add a navigation up here with some buttons. And so we're just going to pull over the sidebar here. And it looks like I've searched for web view in the past. What we're going to look for is the toolbar. So if you search for toolbar, um, there's an object within the, uh, the interface that's got that. You can go ahead and get rid of that for now and align that toolbar to the top. Now the one thing you want to do is your UI web view should be to the top of the page, but you can see the, the, nav the toolbar is actually overlapping. And so we'll want to drag the UI web view down. So the top of the web view is, is now at the bottom of the bar. So you can see the entire screen. All right, from there, what we want to do is we want to, want to make five buttons. And so the first button is the home. You can just click the button and then copy paste it. And I'm just going to do that five times and we'll just relabel everything here. All right, then the next button we'll just have is our refresh. And so what we can do is actually open the toolbar back up, kind of forgot about that, and go to the attributes of that button. You can see the identifier is a custom. We're just going to go down and make this uh, refresh. And so you can see it puts a nice little symbol in there, something nice that Apple does for you. Next one, we're just going to put a stop. And so the identifier again, go down to stop, typical for the, uh, the web interface. And then uh, the fourth one, we're going to go back, so rewind. And then the last one here, fast forward. So you can see we've got our buttons here. And what we're going to do now is close that out. We've established the one action. In the one action, we want to relate to the home page here. And so with that, we're going we're gonna to click on the home button. We're going to click control. And we're going to hook that action up to our files owner, the action that we've already established, which is our launch. So there, that's basically saying when the view loads, we want the launch to happen, and the launch is associated with the home, which is www.google.com. All right, the other buttons, since they're pre-formatted, well, all we're just gonna do, all we're gonna do is click on the UI web view controller here, open up your menu over here again, and go over to your connections inspector. So right now we've got received actions, and these are pre-formatted based on the actions that we've established here. So you can see you go back. We're just going to simply connect it to the button, rewind, and then go forward. Again, fast forward, reload with refresh, and stop loading with the X. All right, so we've got all the buttons hooked up now. The last thing that we're going to do is copy and paste one more button in here. And then with this button, we want to give it a little bit of space. And this is just to make it look a little bit better so all the buttons aren't combined. We're going to change this this button that we've created to a flexible space. And so you see we've got a, an arrow in here that's pushed these two buttons all the way to the far right hand to align them. And that's going to give it a little bit easier you know, user functionality. This arrow is not going to appear when we actually run our application but it's just showing us for the time's sake right now. Last thing, I'm just gonna make this home button a little bit bigger. I've got fat fingers. I'll be able to click home easier that way. All right, so we've got everything established. Let's go ahead and run our application and make sure it runs good um, and see where we're at. So Command R or run up here in the top left hand corner. Looks like we've got it ran perfectly. All right, so let's go to APPL. Alright, let's check out the stock quote here. Ouch. Ouch, but still way up from this previous six months. Alright, so we've got that. Let's see if the back works. Looks good. Forward works. Refresh the page. Stop. And then finally our home page. So it looks like all of them work. We've got our custom navigation up here. Um, all functioning and working good. Alright, hopefully that helps you out with the navigational bar on the UI web view. 
and uh, we'll continue going through some of the basics of the iPad iPhone app development. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, subscribe. Let us know what you're looking for or what you're having troubles with, and we'd love to help you out with that. All right, peace out, guys.